first look at Pixel Plus UI ROM based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Pixel Plus UI ROM, the version being 3.4. And of course, this is the official build. Maintainer is David Villa. The Android version is 11 security patch from April 2021. And the kernel they are using is Silver Core version 8.7. SE Linux, of course, is set as enforcing. Do note, out of the box, G apps are baked into the ROM. And the default launcher is Pixel Launcher, which means select works without any issues. Screenshot works like a boss as well. And if you tap on share, it's going to open the quick share menu, press and hold on any application, and you can pin the application to your quick share menu. Also, as you can see, Android 11 Easter egg cats game works without any issues, as does bubbles. Important thing to note, WhatsApp does not support bubbles right now. Next thing we can have a look at is the volume panel on this ROM. So, here it is, that is how the volume panel looks like. Animations are pretty smooth. Then Google feed, again, no jitters and no lags. Super fast and super smooth. Here are your recents, smooth as well. And go all the way to the right, you do have the clear all button. Quick settings panel, here it is. That is how the quick settings panel looks like. Press and hold on Bluetooth and bam, there it is. We do have the toggle and your devices would show up at the bottom. Similarly, press and hold on the Wi-Fi. Here it is, a toggle along with the other Wi-Fi networks which it is going to scan for. Then the blur and zoom effect works without any issues. Similarly, if you have a look at this quick settings panel, you will see it has the rounded edges which is a bit different from other ROMs. Then if you tap on the edit icon, here are the other tiles which you can add. So you have the caffeine tile, VPN tile, sound, reboot, volume panel, all these options are present. Tap on the three dot menu on the top right. The only option you will see is to reset. Screen recorder, Android 11 present in the building, which does let you record device audio and microphone at the same time. Another thing to note, the button here is also a bit rounded. Let us start it. And now that screen recording is in progress, let us check out the system UI to see if there is any lag or any jitter in the system UI. And well, me, I cannot see any lag or any jitter in the system UI when system recording is going on. Of course, once you're done, tap to stop. And once the recording has finished successfully, you can choose to share it or delete it, whatever floats your boat. Next thing we can check for is whether Hey Google works or not. So as you can see on your screen right now, Hey Google works with the screen turned on. Let us turn the screen off and ask Hey Google, are you awake? And as you can see, Hey Google works with the screen turned off as well. So no issues there. Then let us open Magisk Manager. Device is not rooted right now. Check for safety net. Check for safety net one more time. Safety net is passed. Next up, let us open the Google Play Store. And then we can go into Play Store settings. About, here it is. Device is certified, which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues. Next thing, let us press and hold on the empty space, go into styles and wallpapers. So yes, you do have the Pixel 5 UI over here and you have your curated culture and Star Wars Mandalorian, which are supposed to be Pixel exclusive wallpapers present in this ROM. Go into styles, you do have six pre-baked themes. Let us create our own and here are the different font options which are available. Tap on next, here are the different icon options which are available. Tap on next, here are the multiple color options which are present in this ROM. Tap on next, here are the icon shapes you can choose from. Again, everything is pretty smooth. And once you've chosen your theme, go ahead, give it a name, apply it and you should be good to go. In terms of grid, you have default 4x4, 3x3 and 2x2. 
looks like we got another cat so let me first dismiss this and we can now go into settings and before i forget you will see that the ui here is android 12 inspired the search bar and the icon over here is from android 12 let us first tap on network and internet tap on the wi-fi name and tap on it one more time you do have the option to disconnect in the center tap on advanced you can auto connect on a per wi-fi basis next up let us go into apps and notification see all apps let us open the camera application go into permissions go into camera one more time so you can see you have three different options allow only while using the app ask every time or deny then you also have the toggle to remove permissions if the app is not used for some time let us go into mobile data and wi-fi and per app network isolation is not present in the current build then you do have priority conversations working without any issues bubbles works notification history also works once you enable it and you have a notification it should be available on the bottom right of your quick settings panel then we can head over to pixelizer so this is where they have customizations for their rom first up is status bar so you can choose double tap to sleep on the status bar then brightness control by sliding across the status bar and in case you want to see the 4g icon instead of lte double tap to sleep works without any issues double tap to wake works double tap on the lock screen one more time to put the device to sleep works without any issues next up quick setting customization traffic indicators yes and do note these are the oneplus style traffic indicators and you also have a toggle to tint the quick setting tiles using the accent color then you have customization for the lock screen so in case you want to use fingerprint authentication after a reboot you have a toggle for that me personally i don't recommend you do this then you have double tap to sleep on the lock screen already tested this out lock icon in case you want to see on the lock screen do you want to see the status bar on the lock screen or do you want to disable it and then what is the screen of animation you are looking for so you have simple fade crt and scale let us try out the scale one and there it is that is how the scale animation looks like next up you have extras so you can customize the power menu in case you want advanced reboot and lockdown you have toggles for that go into advanced bam here it is this is how the advanced reboot looks like then you can swap the buttons of recents and back this is for those of you who are using the three button navigation style then you have in call vibration options so you have toggles for vibrate on connect call waiting and disconnect next up we have battery so for starters you do have this pretty good looking animation then you do have per app thermal profiles and here are the different thermal profiles you can choose for your applications battery saver is present along with the pixel 5 exclusive battery saver then you can also set a schedule based on your routine or a percentage for the battery saver and you can also choose to turn it off automatically when the battery is at 90 percent or in case you want to turn it on right away tap on turn on now then adaptive battery is present and they have two new features which are called smart cutoff and smart charging so smart cutoff is going to stop charging your phone based on the battery temperature you use and similarly smart charging is based on the percentage then you also have last full charge and screen usage since last full charge next up we have display so in display first option of course is to configure the brightness level dark theme is present along with the option to configure your dark theme to turn on and off at a custom time night light adaptive brightness is present go into status bar you can choose what all icons you want to see in your status bar and next up you have customization for the time so here it is show hours and minutes in case you want to see seconds you have the option for that as well and you can also choose to remove it totally similarly you can choose your battery percentage to show it all the time or in case you want to show it while it is charging or in case you want to hide the icon totally you have the option for that as well next up we have styles and 
wallpapers we already talked about wallpaper style and grid let us go into clock so here are the different clock options which are available and you do have the IDE clock divided lines fluid OS clock is present then you also have the minimal clocks all of them are present along with the clock from shapeshift OS next up you have your rotation settings so you can choose your auto rotate screen once you enable this you can choose what all angles you want to rotate it to then colors is present natural boosted saturated and adaptive no live display in the current build then you can change the font size display size change the dpi as well go into lock screen you can of course enable the music visualizer along with the media cover art and add a text to your lock screen configure the notifications on the lock screen double tap anywhere on the phone to check it wake the screen for new notifications go into advanced and you can configure your ambient display so you can enable pickup hand wave and pocket mode all these options are present double tap to wake is present we already checked it out you can choose to disable the blur in case you want to then you can choose what all apps you want to run in full screen mode next up we have security so in terms of security you have your normal pin password pattern fingerprint is present ir face unlock is also present in this build along with app lock and yes you have all the possible security options which are available for the poco f1 present in this rom along with app lock then you have system and system you have gestures so you can quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice go into system navigation three different options full screen gestures two button and three button you can configure your full screen gestures so you can change the sensitivity for the left and the right edge then you can configure the dead zone in case you want to hide the gesture bar at the bottom you have options for those then you can change the radius of the gesture bar and in case you want haptic feedback for the back gesture you have a option for that as well no option to hide the back arrow for now then prevent ringing is present so pressing power and volume up together you can either put the phone into vibrate mode or mute as long as the master toggle here is enabled then three finger screenshot is present let us give it a try here it is three finger screenshot works like a boss along with long screenshot and going back into system and gestures you can of course configure your power menu so you can choose to enable or disable the device controls whether you want to see sensitive content on the lock screen or not then you also have adaptive playback and in case you want to know more about adaptive playback feel free to pause and read the text on your screen right now other than that quick torch is present so once the screen is turned off press and hold the power button torch in the building press and hold it one more time torch is no longer on then you also have playback control by long pressing the volume buttons when the screen is turned off if you have enabled this toggle next thing we can check for is the different apps which are baked in so as you can see you do have their pixel plus ui papers application which does have some pretty cool looking wallpapers then we can go into google photos try to edit this picture of my favorite football star and go into adjust so we do not have the option for portrait light let us go back edit it one more time let us wait for this loading bar to finish once this is done going to adjust portrait light bam here it is portrait light feature is there and it works without any issues now in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture and picture works of course for picture and picture to work you either need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to purchase youtube premium prime hd not even gonna check i don't care because poco india does not care about hd content from prime on the poco f1 next thing we can check for is the app opening animations so here they are no jitters no lags everything is pretty smooth on this build then google feed is also present again no jitters and no lags in the google feed either recents here it is recents are pretty smooth as well and let us also check the app switching animations and here it is 
no jitters, no lags. Everything is pretty good with respect to switching between the different applications. And since this is the ROM which is trying to replicate the Pixel UI, you do have Pixel Recorder also present in this ROM. So all in all, another great ROM for the Poco F1. And of course, it is always good to see new ROMs for the Poco F1 considering the device is more than two years old, but the developer interest in this device is still amazing. And there it is peeps, that was our first look at Pixel Plus UI ROM based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1 and that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.